Hi everyone, this is Seth from Power BI Tips. I'm excited to show you our latest layout in this series called The Bend. I'll explain how this one's a little bit different as I open up the zip package with the latest layout. If you've ever used our other layouts before, you know that we've gone to a really detailed level by adding different example data sets and visuals. Those layouts allow you to just enter your data and get immediate value without having to do much visual work. But today we're introducing a different type of layout. This layout won't include all the broken visuals, but it will still include navigation to each of the different pages using bookmarks. And also our new layout fl uh, frame where we bring down the slicer pane. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about with this new set. You'll notice that the color theme of this layout is really similar to our sunset layout, but we're also releasing this layout in two other colors as well, which I'll show you in just a moment. So if you're familiar with our other layouts, you'll notice right off the bat that this one's a little bit different. We're showing you a template page with the particular icons that we're using that you can reuse throughout the report as you build your own report. We're also showing you the color theme that we've automatically applied to this file, and you're more than welcome to switch that theme out if you'd like to, just by removing it from the themes area up here. So let's look at the report page two, which is our main page of the report. You'll notice that we have the three icons, which are for home, which just brings us back to this page. We have our slicers icon, which opens up the slicers pane, where you can put in all of your slicers. Uh, the drop downs work really well in here. And then our clear filters page. So in the bends, we have these different colored cells where we've added buttons that will navigate you to all of the other pages where we have the different background layouts. So as we click through here, you'll notice that the background is changing depending on which page we're navigating to. We see this swoop or the bend um, being used for different card visuals, KPIs, or maybe even just specifying the particular page that you want the end user to navigate to if this is the main page that you want to work with. One other note is you'll notice that in these layouts, as well as all the ones in the future, we'll have this new report features tab. And this report features tab is really for the end user to understand any of the reporting visualization uh, interactions that they might encounter throughout your report. So you're more than willing to add and remove portions of these, but what we're doing is adding this to all of our layouts so that your end users have immediate links to not only see short descriptions, but they can follow these links to short videos describing those particular features as well. So this was the uh, colors layout. Let's take a look at some of the other ones that we're putting out. This one we're calling the Blue Gradient, which has a little bit more of a serious or sophisticated theme in where we wanted to put something out that you could easily put into, you know, a, a business setting versus some of our other layouts where they're, they're more for fun or uh, some of your personal reporting. This layout has the same navigation with all of the buttons that go to the same different pages. So this layout is exactly like the colors, just with a different color theme. And you'll see that from the template page, we have a different theme loaded up uh, and the icons are all the same. And then finally, this last theme actually comes from the Power BI community site in the theme gallery where there was a, a post for, and it's called Actuaries Planning, where we uh, used that dark color scheme behind the scenes and added our layouts on top of that to kind of brighten the visual area so you weren't locked into using particular um, colors or lose parts of your visualizations throughout this layout. So that's all for this video. We hope you, that you like these new types of layouts and we look forward to hearing from you on which type you get the most use from. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and the content, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to keep connected and get monthly summary emails, subscribe on our site so you always stay up to date on all the latest tips, tricks, and tools as we release them. Thanks.